gorgeous setting. But what makes this drink extra special is what looks there. kind of looks like the lab of a mad scientist. And we've got the scientist himself. Rob Masters, hey, hey how's it going? How's it going? It's great. Good, good. This looks wild. What's happening here? Yeah, so this is our R&D lab. So this is all about making all sorts of liqueurs, modifiers, just kind of one-off things that we serve in our bar down here. But like the bubbles, uh, what's like, what's in here? Yeah, so that's lemongrass. So oh. up here we have over 100 different botanicals and we run them through this little lab still here and we extract the essential oils, so the flavor elements of those botanicals. And then that's what we use to make our uh, liqueurs and modifiers. You guys are a local distillery, but that means so much more than just making it here in Colorado. Yeah, all our grains come from Colorado. So we've only bought grains from three different farms, two of which are within five miles of our production facility. And that's all right here? Yeah, so this is a bourbon mash bill. Ooh. And that's what we have fermenting in here right now. I can smell it. What's happening in here? Yeah, so yeast is eating sugar, creating alcohol. That's what happens in the fermentation process. So we'll ferment in here for five to seven days. Uh, it'll create about 10% alcohol, and then we'll distill that off. So all of this ends up going into this big thing? Yeah, so we pump it into the still and we add steam, so we add heat. And alcohol boils oh, at a lower cool. temp than everything else. So what's happening is we're boiling those alcohols off. That vapor is going up, finding conden a condenser, which is running cold water through it. It's gonna condense that. And that's what we're collecting over here in the tank. That'll go into a barrel and a couple years from now, we'll all enjoy it. We get our whiskey yes. or our bourbon. That's the way it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And the last step of the process, it happens up here, Rob? Yes, yeah, so this is the column. So what's happening here is the alcohol, the alcohol is getting rectified. So it's basically cleaning up the alcohol as it moves through the stone. So everything we just saw, that whole process, it turns into this. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, thanks for coming in. Ah, never too early for a shot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Five o'clock somewhere. Oh, this place is so cool, though. The inside is awesome, and I love that they uh -huh. use so many different local grains to make all of their different uh, liquors. But you go upstairs, and it's just cool. It literally mm -hmm. looks like a mad scientist lab. Yeah. Doesn't it give you such appreciation for, like, every ounce of alcohol that you have? I mean, when I went to the Coors mm -hmm. Brewery, the same thing yeah. happened. I was like, oh, my gosh, I will never look at just a glass of beer the same. And I'm sure it's the same there. Oh, absolutely. Even more so because the science that goes into it, and you saw kind of the bubbling that was yeah. happening, they're literally like extracting lemongrass out of that to get that essence or that flavor in. But you can see uh, it's a cool space. It's really, really gorgeous. And the cocktails are good. And they've got really good food there as well. So the big main di distillery where they uh, do most of it is up in Loveland. Mm -hmm. And then this one's right here in Lohi. And tomorrow they're actually having that last one that we were showing where we, we cheered and then cut away before <laughs> I took a little sip. Uh, they're, they're having a big release party for that tomorrow. That's oh, Atticus, that's awesome. their brand new one. And it is delicious. So that's from 12 to 3 at their Lohi location and I'm gonna go out there it's gonna be a really really fun day it's amazing how many distilleries yeah. there are around right? Colorado and, and, and they're all really good they're from all, what that's what's yeah. surprising not surprising but yeah. you know I mean it's excellent quality stuff that they're making especially here yeah what's coming up next week next week ooh, okay I'm excited you know I love all things fall <laughs> yes pumpkin beer ooh, yeah yay! we've got pumpkin yeah. beer uh, <laughs> we had a lot of fun shooting this one it's actually at a brewery that's right in Westminster on the Westminster and Broomfield yeah. line uh, frolic brewing and it's cool what I like about breweries and even distilleries now is they're almost kind of like coffee shops. Yeah. They're becoming that neighborhood spot to right. go. Uh -huh. And so it's nice to get out of the De Denver area yeah. and go and find this little spot that's yeah. awesome. Oh. I am seeing a theme here, though. Right. Okay, no, I, I'm back to food the week after that. <laughs> yeah, no, she has pumpkin beer and then chocolate and then donuts. Yeah. You were just like I'm living, living the life. Right I think now. I'm going to make pasta soon, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, Ooh, no, this has fun. been, it's really cool. Yeah. I mean, the food scene and the, the brewing distillery scene in Denver is just incredible. Incredible. It's a big so, deal. Yeah. It's a big yeah. deal. It's been fun. I love showing off the stories and meeting the people behind it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the food's good, the drinks are good, but I think when you know the person and you get to see them, you want to support that person. Yeah. You want to support locals. So good yeah. stuff. Can't wait right. for the Kylie, thanks. <laughs> As always, appreciate yeah. it. Bring in samples. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I wasn't going to bring bourbon. The next oh, three weeks. Why not? I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drink it off camera. <laughs> All right.